These are also much larger than um, the original chips, but it's fine because, again, the H3000 is not going to access the upper part of this chip. So we're going to put this in here and we're going to type in Mini Pro. We're going to specify the device. And this device is a, it's an AT, AT27C020. Copy that. We're going to write. And we're going to make this ROM 4. I'm going to grab ROM 4 over here. And we are going to drag it. Oops. We are going to drag it. We are going to drag it. Why aren't we dragging? Somebody save me. There we go. All right. Enter. It is writing the code. Save me from this nothing I've become. What's really nice is that if you know the exact type of chip that you're putting in, which is an AT, oh wait, AT27C020, the, uh, the TL866 Mini Pro software knows what the verify voltage should be, it knows what the programming voltage should be, and it knows what the chip voltage should be. So you don't have to go and specify what the right voltage is or um, the verify voltage, which is nice. There's some chips where you do have to specify, but not with this one. And we're still waiting. Which chips do you have to specify? Well, okay, like, for example, if you have a 2716, the 2716 has a 25 volt programming voltage, and some 2716s have a 12.75 volt programming voltage. So if you have a 12.75, you have to go in there and make sure that it's at 12.75 or 13 volts. And also, another thing to note is that this programmer actually can't do 25 volts. I have this little adapter thing that I can hook up to a bench supply so I can do 25 volt chips. And that includes like the 2708, the 2716, the 2732. Okay, verification okay. 